hey guys and welcome back to my channel um if you're new here welcome um i just want to do something a little different today i know that i have an uber hood um but this is my own personal game this is called my mega hood i play it sometimes on my you um not my youtube my twitch streams um but i kind of wanted to just give like a little update on like a personal game for me and this would be it um so technically my mega hood is just like another rendition of an uber hood um but uh mine is a little bit farther along so i'm actually on rotation four which is about i would say about 15 ish years since the beginning of um like starting the game so like 15 years kind of has passed and the reason i'm basing that is because I'm basing off of Bo Broke. He is now a teenager, um, and he's a couple of um, days into his teenage years. And I have extended my you like my years, anyways. So it's been about 15 years. I just kind of want to give you guys like um, like a run over or like a look at you know what's going on. So I don't know how much I'm gonna really dive into, but. Um, Obviously, I will show the original houses from my Pleasant View, which is what we're in. It's just called Mega Hood because that's what it's called. And yeah, I think this could be really fun. And if you guys really enjoy this, I could show all of my different like households or whatever throughout. But um, yeah, so I will go over like Don Lothario, the Caliente sisters, the goth household, the dreamers, the Pleasants. Um, and the oldies and the burbs the rest of everybody and the brokes and the rest of everybody else that's here are just like added extras um, if you ever want to check out my live streams we do live stream over there there's a lot of drama and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and start at the top of the list and that is with Don Lothario I'm just gonna kind of go over what's going on with him and this could be a little lengthy so it might be a couple of parts to get through it all but I'll try my best to keep it about you know 30 minutes long so I'm gonna jump on into Don Lothario's house and I will show you what's going on with him okay so here we are with Don Lothario and um he is the first sim that you would play in pleasant view anyways he is the um i don't even know what to call him he's like the man who sleeps around town pretty much um so yeah so he is a romance sim his secondary for me is um popularity um, he has done pretty well in his life so far, and he is getting kind of close to being an elder at this point. Like I said, I have used an aging mod, so if that doesn't make sense to you why he's still so young, well, that's why he is still so young for me. It is winter, and I do play my seasons on seven days each because I just think that is more realistic for me. I think four or five is a little too short, and seven gives me enough time to have time for the activities, but it's not too long where I feel like, you know, it's never ending. So we did start in summer, of course, and seven days there, seven days fall, seven days in winter, but five are remaining still. So we've played about 14, 16 days. So yeah, it's been, it's been quite a while. And um, he is officially 20 days from aging up. He has officially adopted a dog from the Critter household, which is in your bin if you're looking for them. Um, and he chose Danny. Um, I'm not going to get into how I play my games. I'm just going to get into what's been going on with my Sims. And I thought this would be fun for some of the people who haven't seen my Mega Hood on my Twitch channel. This will be a time for you to catch up. So Don Lothario has slept with quite a few women and some of them he has babies with and some of them he doesn't. So one of them is Jessica Peterson. She's from um, one of the other neighborhoods. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one. It's either Belladonna Cove or what's the other one? River Blo No, it's not River Blossom Hills. I think it might be Belladonna Cove. Yeah, I think it might be. Or is it? I don't know. You guys will probably tell me in the comment section below because m some of you are more knowledgeable about where specific people are from than I am, and that's great. So yeah, he has slept with her. 
He has slept with Sandy Broody and they do have a baby together. And I'll get into their babies and everything later. He has slept with Jan Tellerman. He has slept with Bella Goth because she is in the save. She is not a playable sim at the moment for me. Like, she's not in any of my households. So she's like an NPC townie kind of thing. I do want to bring her in somehow or some way. But I'm not really sure what, what or how I'm going to do that. Um, he has slept with Reagan Cap. And since... I started playing this. I have changed my rules. I have changed a lot of things. So keep that in mind as well. He has slept with Nina Caliente, of course, and Opal Tan, uh, Cheryl Lawson, and Vivian Riley, uh, Jennifer Burb, and Marissa Bendette, um, and also Dina Goth, and Cassandra Dreamer, and Caitlin Langerak. He has a lot of ladies that he is interested in. Or has good relationships with enough to woohoo with. Like, look at him. He wants to be friends with Bottom um, Gossamer. And she's from Veronaville. So that just goes to show it all. So looking at his family tree here. He has four children so far. Only one boy and three girls. His eldest child is named Quincy Lothario. And that is with Jan Tellerman. Um, then he has a baby named Fatima Lothario. And that is with Sandy Broody. Then he has a baby with the lady Cheryl Lawson. And um, her name is Hazel Lothario. And then he has a son with none other than Jan Tellerman. And that baby's name is Zane Tellerman. So that is all that has happened. Don obviously did not go through with the wedding with Cassandra. Um, he decided to uh, take off. He didn't want to get married. He is very poor, as you can see. And I have redone his condo, which I really, really love his condo now. It's probably one of my favorites of the condos at this point. It does still need a little bit of work, like some lighting outside and stuff. But otherwise, it's pretty beautiful. Um, you can see he's got his own office and the living space. The bathroom is still here. I did keep the original like um structure i just kind of changed some interior walls and things this is his upstairs all of my romance sims will have this hot tub um because it just signifies that they're a romance sim of course and then this is like some seating outside that he has and then his rooftop because of course we got to keep that it's iconic you know all right, so that's all about Don Lothario and himself. He lives here by himself. He still has an engagement ring on, but he's not engaged. Um, he is absolutely not engaged, and he's not getting married. And then he has his dog, da Danny Critter, and they are happy together. His um, son, his first son, which is Zane, will inherit his home and stuff when he leaves, like when he passes. So Zane already has, take, has the condo. I'm kind of curious. Will Zane age up to be a romance sim? Let me know if you think he will or if he won't. I'm curious to know if he will or if he won't because I have no idea. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you the Caliente sisters home next. So I'll be right back when I'm over there. <clears throat> okay, so we're here with Nina Caliente. Um, she lives here in the Caliente condo by herself. Obviously, Dina got married to Mortimer and has moved on to the Goth Manor, which we will get to next. Um, so, Michael Bachelor is still here because I have been waiting for his ghost to come back and it hasn't. I like to see the ghost and make sure that it's still with the tombstone before I move it to the graveyard. Um, but I think I'm, a, I'm about at the point where I'm just going to throw him over there and just hope for the best. Um, and since he doesn't really have that much of a tie with Nina Caliente, it wouldn't really make sense for him to still be here. It'd make more sense for him to be re like sleep resting at the uh, graveyard. So this is um, the condo. Now it is a little bit different because um, I have changed like the upstairs and everything. Um, a lot of it has actually changed on the inside as well, but it is still the same. It's still right next to Don Lothario's. That's Don Lothario's condo right there. This is their condo. I know it's nighttime, so I'm so I'm really sorry about that. I hope it's not too hard to see. Um, so this is the downstairs. I will give you the tour of this one first. So this is like a very very open land 
open land, <laughs> open floor plan that I have created now. Um, the only room that's cut off really is the bathroom. And I kind of like it this way. I think it is, it flows better for me personally. And then this is the second floor. So the second floor, the stairs have their own little, um, room because they are open to the upstairs. And now that I see that, I also notice that this stuff here gets snow on it, which is kind of annoying. So I've kind of thought about closing this off with like a walls up here and then I wouldn't need the um the walls down here so I'm kind of thinking about it I don't know quite yet you can see Nina here this is her bedroom she has her own bedroom by herself she is a single mom um and then this is her son's bedroom um his name is Weston and then they share this bathroom here which is the only full bath in the house the other bath oh Oh no, this one is a full bath. That's right. It's just got a tub instead of a shower, which is fine. And then they ha she has a little office. So if she ever wants to, uh, to use the computer, she can. I need to fix the chair. I know uh, some of the chairs are going to look like that. I default replace some of them with the Sims 4 stuff. So please forgive me. I will fix it eventually. This is a little balcony. And if you remember this, we used to be Alexander's room. Or not Alexander's, um, in Nina's room. And then over here was like... This whole thing over here was like Dina's room and then the bathroom was here and all that. Yeah, so now there's like a hallway in between so you can actually use the hallway and stuff and there's an extra room which I think is kind of nice. So this is Nina Caliente. She is 23 days away from being an elder now um, and this is her son Weston. Um, so Nina is also a romance sim. So as you know, she's got the hot tub because of course she needs it. Um, she has slept with a few people, not as many, I think as Don Lothario, but she has slept with a few. So she wants to have some 20 simultaneous lovers. He wants to woohoo with 20 different sims. Those are their lifetime like aspirations. So yeah. So Nina here, um, has slept with Gordon Wolans. Olansko. Why is she upset with her son? Um, Benjamin Baldwin, G.F. Rutherford, Carlos Contender. All three of these guys are from different towns, but they are all from the Mega Hood because they're all in here together. Then she, obviously Darn Lothario and then Connor Weir. And she's working on some other pursuits, of course. Because why wouldn't she, right? So Nina is not a mom to just one child. She actually has two children two that I know of. I don't think she's pregnant. Um, and uh, so if I look at the family tree, you can see Dina is still alive, of course. Um, these are her sons, Weston. And then her other son is green-skinned like an alien, which is kind of cool. But it's uh, Quentin. And her first son, Weston, is actually with none other than G.F. Rutherford, who is another romance sim, of course. Uh, they got together at a one-night stand and Weston was born. I do roll to see if my romance sims are going to keep the baby and she rolled to keep the baby. So she kept Weston and that's who's sitting right there. Then she had Quentin Weir and this one was kind of a little bit different. So it was more like the dad wanted to have a baby. He is a secondary, I think, romance sim and so he wanted to woohoo or he wanted to have a baby and he also wanted to go on a date well, when he was on the date he rolled to woohoo and so I let him and Nina casually do some woohoo well it resulted in a baby being born which was Quentin and he unfor he at the time did have the wish to have a baby because I think he's a primary uh family sim and so he wanted to have a baby. And so when I rolled for Nina to see if she was going to keep the baby, she rolled that she wasn't. But since Connor wanted to have a baby, I did let Quentin go live with his father, um, which in another, uh, none other but Connor Weir and G.F. Rutherford are best friends and they do room together in the same home. So that was kind of weird at the same time. I don't think G.F. really cared because he's a romance sim. And also, I don't think Connor really cared because he is a secondary romance sim. So they didn't really care that they both had slept with Nina. I don't think it really mattered to them. Um, it wasn't like they were trying to pursue a relationship or anything with her. It was just like, let's 
have some fun and go on a date and then it ended in babies being born and it's just funny that um quentin is an alien baby which if you don't know nina does descend from uh polynesian technicians number seven is her grandfather um her dad was born from polynesian technicians seven um and his dad nestor caliente so that's how you kind of can get the uh like the alien genes in here and she did end up giving birth to an alien baby um so yeah so that baby doesn't live with nina but she still lives here in the condo with her son weston um whom is about to be a child i do believe yeah he is about to be a child so they have been played quite a bit the next family i'm going to show you is the goth manor all right so we are here at the goth manor and let me go all the way up so you can see the full-on house of course i have remodeled this as well so this is my remodeled version i know it's nighttime again i really do apologize unfortunately that's just gonna how it's gonna be because i do end um at, at midnight for my sims most times and so these guys are in midnight and it's just that's how it's gonna be um, so you can see this household is very big, but, um, yeah, so they still have their telescope upstairs. Um, I will show you from the bottom floor up, I guess, because that's like how you're really gonna see everything. So this is the downstairs and you can see that I have remodeled the whole inside as well. Um, this is the bottom floor. There's a full bathroom. This is like the hallway. There's like the dog stuff and the piano and stuff. There is a bookshelf over here with a couch they can sit on. This is the living room. I have put a TV here. And then into the dining room here, I have the fireplace. They do have three um, high chairs at the moment because they did just have um, like three toddlers all at once. So that was entertaining. This is their kitchen. Please forgive the mess. There was a party and then everyone was tired. So they probably went to bed. Though they did leave a baby downstairs, which is interesting. Going up the stairs, they do have the spiral staircases again. And over here is Mortimer and Dina's um, master bedroom. They have the computer in their room. Um, and then this is their bathroom, which I think it's funny that there's a bidet and he's sitting on it instead of using the toilet, which is funny. Um, they have like the double sink and the bathtub. This is the second bath. It's still pretty much the same layout, of course but is a little bit different um so this is another full bath this here is alexander's room he actually has not aged up yet he's still six more days okay i thought alexander was gonna be like one of the first ones to go to university or whatever but he ended up not being that he's actually quite younger than the rest of the kids that you start out with um but i guess that would make sense because he wasn't technically a teen when we started he was a child right so it it makes sense that he is taking a little bit longer, but I, I don't know why, but I just had like a picture that he would be going to college with like Dustin and Lilith and Angela, but he was technically younger than he was a child, child when we started. So he does have a little bit more time. So he gets to stay home a little bit more and he will be the one to inherit this home. Of course, when his dad passes away, it'll be his inheritance. And then probably Dina and his and his half sisters either he'll choose to allow them to stay here or he'll kick them out and he'll make them go find their own place and that's fine too so this is his sister's um well the baby bedroom i guess uh, Dina did just give birth to twins so they are in here as well the baby downstairs is Odessa she's a uh, alien sim and then these are the newborn babies Renee and Yuri they're the new babies that were just born into the goth family um, I will show you the family tree in just a second this was very pink and I kind of feel bad for Yuri a little bit um, that it's so pink in here but he probably doesn't mind he probably enjoys looking at all the beautiful colors and he's okay in pink it's no big deal um, but this is for his, his for the older sip twins, uh, Queenie and uh, Ursula, they were in here originally as babies or toddlers, whatever. And uh, it just became the nursery and everyone kind of just sleeps in here now. And then up on the next floor up, if you come up the stairs, that goes to the roof. This is the dog's bathtub because I figured these guys are so rich, they probably wouldn't want to bathe in the same bathtub that their dog bathes in. So I kind of gave them that. This bedroom here was created by me. This is for the girls who just aged up, Ursula and uh, Queenie here. So they have opposite personalities. One kind of likes blue and one likes pink, which is kind of cute. So they do have opposite sides to the bedroom. I even painted it opposite. I mean, you can kind of see that, but 
Um, on this side, it's, you know, this one goes a little bit farther this way. So it evens out that, you know, they have half the room each. Um, so Ursula likes music. She's going to play the violin and Queenie is going to do her own thing. But I just made them this little bedroom after their birthday party so they had a place to go. And is nice for them because they get the whole floor technically to themselves. They don't really have to share with anyone and they're, you know, they get peace and quiet up here. So we do have Mortimer, of course, and his wife, Dina. So Mortimer's thing was that he wants to maximize out seven skills. Um, he is officially at three, about to be at four if he gets one more point in creativity. And I don't know if he'll get the other three, but we'll see how that goes for him. Dina here wants to... Um, become the law but she has never wanted to really make money until now and with the earn some money I can choose to get them a job so I might lock that in for her who knows and you know I'm actually going to do so because I think that'll be good it'll allow me to get her into the law position because she's unemployed at the moment and it would help the family out quite a bit not that they're hurting for any money or anything but what if Dina was to get kicked out of here and Alexander was to take the money in the house you know they need a little bit of something to fall back on because she didn't not move in with any money I don't think I don't think she married in with any money really either so that's kind of unfortunate for her um Alexander here so Alexander has a little sneaky sneaky he has actually I think wooed with Nina Caliente I think he has and it was ACR that did it and I was like oh my goodness I had no idea that was going to happen but yeah oh that's did woo with Angela Angela Pleasant? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, it's totally with Nina. So that's kind of weird because that's like his stepmom's sister. I just find that really weird. And I was like, what is going on? But yeah, um, I guess he also wooed with Angela. I, Angela Pleasant? Is that who that's talking about? Or does he know another Angela? No, I would assume it was Angela Pleasant. Oh, that's weird. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Anyways, um, so he's he's got quite a few wishes right now for Jill, and that is um, Jill Smith from Strange Town. He has two bolts with her, and I'm kind of thinking about getting them together. I'm not going to lie to you. So if Jill has two bolts with him, then of course we will definitely try to do something there because he does have a lot of wishes for her and it would mingle two homes that wouldn't originally be mingled. So I think that would be really cool. And then obviously he has his little sisters, Queenie and Ursula, which I already showed you upstairs. You can tell the difference between them. She's wearing like a t-shirt and jeans and got her hair up and then she's got her hair down kind of with like little pigtails wearing a dress it's very pink so you can see the different personalities already coming through there and then this is odessa like i said she is the alien baby that dina had um so she is here and she actually ages up in five days so we've got a little while and then we have renee and yuri who were just born this is also a critter this is one of the puppies that was born from the critter household and her name is sylvia and they have decided to adopt sylvia and they're giving her the best life that they can i think she's beautiful with her beautiful blue eyes um I don't know. I just think that she's beautiful. And I think that they all really enjoy having a dog in the home. Um, and she has 16 more days until she's an elder. So she's doing really well. She's loving it here. Really getting a lot of attention from the little kiddos. And the little kiddos love her. They love snuggling with her. I got lots of photos of that and stuff, of course. All the photos that I take for this, of course, are up on my Discord channel. So definitely check those out. But yeah, so they're really loving her. And everything here is going well. Alexander's lifetime wish, by the way, is to become the icon level 10 interesting which if you don't know that is the show business so we'll see how that goes he has a great relationship with his dad he doesn't really have a great relationship with his sister which i kind of find um odd like i would have thought that him and his sister would have gotten along quite well but they don't have a relationship at all and he doesn't really know his mom because obviously she got abducted or whatever happened to her and he doesn't really he doesn't really care for Dina. He doesn't hate her. He doesn't love her. It's He doesn't really spend much time in here. He pretty much spends time outside fishing because that is his hobby and he loves to fish out here. Um, they do have a really, really nice car. 
um, which kind of, I think, was influenced a little bit by Dina, just because she really likes the uh, fortune side of things and feeling like she's really wealthy and has, like, all this money that she can spend, pretty much. But that's pretty much this family in a nutshell. The next household that I can show you is the broke household. All right, so this here is my bur broke household, and let me give you a... Let me give you a overview of the home, of course. So this is them. They still live in the trailer park and this roof is way too big. Let's fix that because that is, that's atrocious. Um, but anyways, so they still live in the trailer park, of course. And I really think that the trailer park is really cute for them. Um, obviously they are still not that wealthy. So they kind of have to um, just deal with what they can, you know? And this is what they can afford right now, so this is what they've got. It's a little bit wider of a trailer than you originally know the Broke family to have. And there is some new members, of course, in the family, and you're probably wondering where is Brandy Broke? Well, here's the lowdown. So as she was pregnant um, with the baby that comes next after Bo, which should have been one baby, but I do have mods in, so it can equal up to four. Just gotta say this penguin is so freaking cute. Um, she ended up having twins, um, Olivia and Patrick, and she actually died of childbirth. So things did not go well for her and she passed away and she never has been back since. Um, which is the saddest thing because Brandy Broke, when I was growing up, was my go-to sim to play. I really loved playing as her and I miss her a lot in my mega hood. But at the same time, I want to play the way I set my rules up to be and so that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep playing the way that I initially wanted to play my mega hood. All right so as you're going to know there is some new people in the home and I'm going to go over that. So Angela Pleasant is one of them. She actually moved in because her and Dustin are making their relationship work. Um, they are both young adults now and they are both in university. I do have a mod to go to university at home so that's what these are here for. These are their college stuff so that they can like graduate and go to class and do all that good stuff. So they are both in college. They are both freshmen. Um, he's a little bit farther behind her because he's a little bit younger than than her which is okay um and then this is Bo broke and like I said this is why I say about 15 years has passed because he's a, t a teenager now instead of being a toddler so four um four whole um rounds of playing the the sims and Bo is now a teen and he is about 13 days away from being an um, young adult and going to college um, since he doesn't inherit the home because Dustin obviously does he will actually go to college in university which will be really fun to have him meet some new people and stuff but um, yeah so he's a teenager and he's out 13 days so he's about three days into his teen years so it's pretty 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 good into his teen years already um, so yeah so Angela's here like I said and her lifetime wish is to um, become ecological guru, which is in the natural science career, which could me mean that they could make pretty good money. And then Dustin here, he did turn his house, like turn his life around. Um, and he actually wants to become a business tycoon. Um, he has officially dropped out of being the in a in the criminal career, which is good for him because I've added in a prison system. And, you know, if he were to get caught, he could go to prison. And then, you know, what would Angela do? Poor girl, you know what I mean? Then you have Bo here. He actually wants to go have 50 first dates. He's a pleasure sim, of course. And um, we won't know any of these guys' secondary aspirations because they're not young um, adults. And I don't give them secondary aspirations until they hit adults. And then we have the twins that were born when um brandy passed away so this is the little girl her name is olivia and then her twin brother here is patrick patrick is the twin brother now you're wondering probably who are these last two kids well these are the last kids of the brokes technically that are like brandy's kids because she obviously passed away and she could not give birth any uh, like to another kid so this is actually zentara broke um 
Oh, wait, that's Olivia broke. Whoopsie. She's on the top. I didn't realize that it wouldn't zoom me in properly. So that's Olivia. I was like, why does she look different? And that is Zentara. So they kind of look close in similarities, but a little bit different at the same time. So Zentara broke is actually Dustin and Angela's ba baby. Um, they had her when they were teens. So they ended up having a teen pregnancy and they had to um, take care of a teen or a baby while being teens. And it kind of got Angela kicked out of their parents' home because they were really disappointed in her because she was supposed to be like the good girl who didn't do anything bad or naughty. And she ended up falling pregnant by Dustin whom they really hate Dustin anyways um so yeah that is that they these two are not married I don't even think they're engaged let me check no they're not even engaged and he only really has one bolt with Angela but since they were already a match like like together I mean when the game started and they have had kids together I just think that Angela would have moved in with Dustin after his mom passed away especially starting university and stuff together because I think that would be something that they would bond over like you know the fact that she can support him when his mom is gone and he can support her when her parents aren't really seeing the best side like seeing her side and things and then they just had a baby named Vince. Um, he is right here of course. You can't really see his face because Angela is breastfeeding him but um he is their youngest baby and I don't foresee these two um, breaking up. They're very happy together. He does want to see like his little brother go to school and some of his friends from high school go to school, but he, none, neither of them will probably cheat. Um, so he is, um, he is a fortune sim, which we can put his points in. And then he doesn't have a secondary, like I said, because he doesn't need to and then here is Angela Angela is a popularity sim and doesn't have a secondary either then you have Bo here and he is a pleasure sim of course so he's got all of that going and then these are like the kids whom are just like the grow up aspirations so we don't know what any of them are going to really want to do this is the homes this is the kitchen dining room which was like the full-on kitchen and then there was a little tiny space over here for the the living room before um this bedroom was here it was dustin's originally and this is the same bathroom this is brandy's room but it's cut into two rooms now so that we have a third bedroom here and then this is the living room which used to be kind of the hallway i just made these rooms a little bit like thinner um but they work really well there's enough space for two beds in each, uh, like the room with a couple of extras and then the bathroom has plenty of space so i think this is nice i think the trailer is slightly wider than it originally is I think it was only like to here or here I can't remember it's like one or two wider um and then they I obviously gave them a pool so it's a full-on pool so it's not like you know anyone's gonna pass away from it and I did give them a back door to get to it because it was kind of annoying that they didn't have one and then you know some like walkway to it um yeah so that's everything here and um, I hope that these two do well in school, but I mean, if they don't, it's not the end of the world, of course. They are both undeclared. Oh, wait, he's a biology major. That's right. And uh, I feel like this is the wrong major for what he wants to do since he wants to be a business tycoon. That doesn't really make sense, but we'll go with it anyways. And yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, show you guys the burbs, the oldies, and the pleasants is that all i have left i think it is so i'll do the pleasants next and then i will see you guys there all right so here we are at the pleasant household and i just realized that i also have the burbs or the dreamers i mean so please don't let me forget them <laughs> i know you guys can't tell me but yeah so this is the pleasant household i know that it's dark again i do apologize but um i did make the outside look so much better in my opinion i really like the outside of this house now it was kind of blah before and i wasn't really loving it now i absolutely love this house it's probably one of my favorites that i've remade so far in pleasant view um and i don't know i just really love it and you can see that it's a small family in this house now so that's kind of interesting so downstairs this is the walk-in area here that you see this is where you walk into the home and then to the right is your kitchen and it's pretty much the same and then this here is the dining room which i love the dining room i think it's beautiful it's got a really nice like dining set and then the fireplace and the bar and there's some baby high chairs over here 
Uh, this goes out to the backyard. Um, and then this is still the gym area, which is in here because of uh, Daniel himself. The stairs are actually off the dining room now. And um, I like that. Um, and then this is the a full-on bathroom with a shower and a tub. And then this is the living room, which I think is probably one of my favorite rooms in the home. I don't know. I just really like the design in here. It's really beautiful. I don't know why there's a Bella picture here. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's all right. It's all good. Um, then you go upstairs, and this is the landing here. You can kind of see it. Um, this here is Mary Sue and Daniel Pleasant's room, which is really nice they've got the big closet this is going to be an office or a study one day but they don't really have like a ton of money as you can see and i'll explain that in a second this is supposed to be an extra bathroom but again don't really have money for it this used to be lilith's room and she moved out with her uh baby which we'll get into later um and um so yeah, so it's just an empty room now. This was supposed to be a third bedroom or something, but it ended up not being made into anything again. And then this is the baby's room, um, which used to be nothing, I don't think. And I'm going to actually make this into two rooms. Um, I'm going to split this with a wall here and make this one room and make this one room make the, keep this maybe as a nursery and then keep this as another bedroom I don't know but I might even put like a bathroom here so that there's like a bathroom in between the two which would be kind of nice but that's all about that um, so this here is Daniel and he is very close to being an, uh, an elder he has 10 days left and um, uh, I don't know. He has 10 days left in his life to masquerade, like his lifetime before he's an elder. And he also wants to reach the top of his career. As you know, he is a level nine coach. Um, I'm pretty sure he is this when you start playing him as well. So that's just that. Um, but yeah, and then this is, he wants to be the, uh, hall of famer too. So that's the top of the athletics career. And then this is his wife, Mary Sue, whom are Angela and Lilith's parents. Of course, as you know, if you know, Pleasant View, um, they, her life to wish is to earn a hundred and fifty hundred thousand simoleons. Um, I don't know exactly how much of that she's actually gotten. Cause I don't think it tells you how much she's gotten, which is kind of annoying. It doesn't like give you a tally of how much you've gotten, but she's a level five in her career. She's in the politics career and then this is their newest child which I was not expecting or wanting I know that sounds kind of mean but there's reasons um it kind of ruins my storyline that I was kind of going for but this is Wyatt Pleasant and um he is the uh newest baby mem uh newest Pleasant baby so he would technically and well he won't technically Okay, I don't know if he's going to technically inherit the house, and here's why. Daniel Pleasant, as you know, when you start playing the Pleasant household, they have it set up where Daniel and Kaylin Langrak are supposed to woohoo, and Mary Sue is supposed to find them. Mary Sue did get her promotion that day, but she never found out about Kaylin and Daniel. So that was that. So he has... Um, he is a romance sim, so obviously he's kind of been around town a little bit, and because of him kind of being around town, um, he has multiple women who he has slept with, um, which is Sophia Jacques and Sandy Fairchild and Kaylin Langrak, um, but the only one of them that's ever gotten pregnant is Kaylin, and she got pregnant with quads. So Daniel has to pay her 800 simoleons, um, every single time it calls for child support to come. And it has literally made them broke to the point that they are behind in bills. The repo man is about to come and and um, Mary Sue doesn't know about the affair yet. So the bills sit out here on the road because Daniel didn't have the um, he didn't have the courage, I guess is the word. I was going to say a different word, but I'm not going to say it. Um, he didn't have the courage enough to tell Mary Sue yet about the affair or that he has babies with Kaylin. And so they sit out here on the road in hopes that they're going to make enough money in time to pay them. Now, Mary Sue didn't know anything about it and she paid the latest bills instead of these ones. So she thinks that they're all caught up on bills and she thinks everything is going great when 
in all reality, they're absolutely horrible. They're about to be repossessed for over $2,000 and she has no idea. And I'm sure when she finds out, she is not going to be happy. Okay. So yeah. So let me show you the family trees. Now, Mary Sue has been very faithful to Daniel. She's never caught him cheating in my game. And, um, it's not like I keep it like down on the low like he obviously has been with multiple women and she just never seems to find them when they're doing the deed so i can't do anything about that <laughs> so this is their family tree and as you can see it is a very complex and i will get into it in just a second um, but I wanted to say this is his sister, Jennifer Burb, which is one of the households I still want to show you guys. And this is his wife, Mary Sue. This is his daughter, Angela and Lilith. Of course, they are both young adults now. And then this here is their son that's upstairs in the crib. His name is Wyatt and he was a surprise baby. And I can't believe that he's here, honestly. So this is, um, Zentara, which I've already showed you. And then that's Vince, the baby that she was breastfeeding. I haven't showed you Lilith yet, but they... Lilith does have a baby named, or a child named Yamina, um, with Dirk Dreamer, of course. So, she has her own kid now. And then, Daniel has quads with Kaylin. So, he has Zayden, Yara, Winter, and Unity. And let me tell you, when I was raising these children, I was pulling my hair out because the household is a wreck. Okay, so there's a lot of kids that fall underneath this whole thing because obviously there's half siblings like Angela and Lilith are their half siblings. And then there's other kids that were put into the wraps. And then there's also like Wyatt, who is Mary Sue and Daniel's now child. So you can kind of see that Kaylin has her own brood of children. And that is just another whole ordeal that we'll have to either get into another day or something. But yes, they all are, their last names are all going to be pleasant. Um, because eventually it's going to come out when the repo man comes at, comes to take the stuff for the stuff because they can't pay for it um that uh they're going to repossess some things and technically the person who would inherit the home from daniel because i consider the males to be the heirs that's just the way i like to play everyone has their each way of playing and that's fine um so i feel like daniel would pass down the keys to his eldest son which technically would be zayden langerak or Zayden Pleasant, of course. But since Mary Sue doesn't know, I don't know if Daniel would want to go through with that at this point because it is technically his and Mary Sue's home. And I know the kind of person that Daniel is. He doesn't want to confront his, his problems or like, you know, he wants to keep it on the wraps. So I feel like now that he and Mary Sue just had a baby boy, he might pass the keys down to Wyatt Pleasant. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which way it's going to go and I need to kind of play out that system a little bit more and see which one I want to go with. If he was to pass down the keys to Zayden Langerak, of course, he would be getting rid of Mary Sue. She would probably like move out with Wyatt and she would go live her own life. They would probably get a divorce. And I don't know if he wants to face that this late in his life. Um, if he did pass the keys down to Zayden, of course, Kaylin would probably move in with all four of her all of her kids and it would be hectic here but I think it would be kind of interesting storyline to go down and honestly I feel like he deserves to lose Mary Sue because of how well she is but also Kaylin doesn't deserve Daniel because um she's a I feel like she's a good sim I know that a lot of people some people portray her as like you know someone who sleeps around a lot but she is a family sim and I feel like you can catch feelings for someone who's married um and yes, it's wrong what she did with Daniel, but I mean, she was with Don Lothario as well, I guess, and he was engaged, um, but she might not have known about the engagement. I'm not really sure if she knew about that or not because they weren't living together. Of course, she knew about Mary Sue, but I feel like more so it would have been Daniel who would have pursued Kaylin than Kaylin pursuing Daniel, and that's kind of like where it is a little bit twisted because you can't really know who pursued who in a way and so that's just like like hearsay or what you believe but I believe that Kaylin just wanted to be loved and she just wanted to have someone who loved her and 
to feel the love reciprocated and she thought that was Daniel but I think once she realized that she had quads and he hasn't really been around ever since they were born I think that Kaylin would kind of get the hint she has moved on and had babies with some other people as well and I just think that's because again they gave her like the time of day and she, no one else is giving her that so she kind of like leans for it I don't know she's like a hopeless romantic who really really wants to be loved pretty much in my opinion and I kind of think that makes her look bad but I don't think she's a bad person per se I think that she just kind of lets herself get kind of sucked into bad situations and this is definitely one of them because who knows what's going to happen with her and her kids at this rate we'll have to wait and see but anyways that is the pleasant household and all of their drama with all the baby mamas <laughs> and um <sighs> yeah, I've been talking for a very long time, but I still do want to show the original, like, Sims. Um, I know that I haven't shown Dirk and Lilith, but I probably won't get into them because I'm talking about them kind of from the original households. Um, so the next household I'll go to is the Dreamer household. I will show you that. And um, I will talk about Dirk and all of that over there because there is a whole scenario with that. Of course, you know that Lilith and Dirk have a baby together or a child together, whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go load up the Dreamer household and I will see you when I get over there. Okay, so I am here at the Dreamer household and um, I am going to show you guys all about this household and I'm sorry if you guys can hear anything in the background I really do apologize I am trying to complete this as quick as possible anyways so here we are at the dreamer household and this also has had a renovation of course all of my pleasant view homes have um that we're using of course not the ones that we're not using because I don't I haven't had time to do those of course but I will get to them eventually so this here is the dreamer household and is pretty much the same layout some things have changed like decorations and things but otherwise it's pretty much the same old layout um one extra bedroom has been created and that's about it but it's looking really good i really like the layout of this i think it's really nice um so yeah okay so Okay, so here we are with Darren Dreamer, of course, and he is very upset about um, Tara, which I'm kind of interested in now because were they friends or something? I don't know. He's upset about Tara. He wants to resurrect her. So I will look into that because he is a knowledge sim. Um, so this is Darren Dreamer, of course, and he has married Cassandra Dreamer, whom uh, moved in with some monies, of course. And um, so they are pretty well off. I mean, she has some money in her banking account and stuff as well. Uh, Dirk has moved out because um, he is a young adult. He is going to college in the dormitory in the world. Yes, he will take over this home, but I needed a little bit of space. Um, and since he's still in the world, he will still inherit the home. I'll still know when things are going down. But this here is Dirk Dreamer right here. Um, and if I show you here, he does have Zen uh, Yamina, I mean, with uh, Lilith Pleasant. So they live in the uh, dorms together with their daughter Yamina, and they're going to university there here in the world together. Um, I just think that's a nice way for them to be able to be together and to still go to university and to still raise their daughter because, of course, if they had went to the university, they would have had to leave Yamina behind with the Dreamers. Okay, so they... Um, the, yeah, so they moved into the dormitory together with their daughter and they go to university here in Pleasant View in the dormitory. Um, I haven't showed the dormitory and I probably won't today just because I still should technically show off the burbs and the oldies. But I think this is going to have to be my last household because, you know, I have a life outside of YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, because my kids are awake and they're... <laughs> they're not the greatest at being quiet at their ages so I just wanted to get through this last household though anyways so this here is Cassandra Ga or the Cassandra Dreamer like I said um Darren's dream is to be to max out the seven skills just like Mortimer Goth and then Cassandra wants to have six grandchildren which shouldn't be too hard because she does have a couple of kids here with Darren um so their first kid together is named Xavier he has actually taken over Dirk's room downstairs and they recolored you know this 
the room for him to make it, you know, more his color. He really likes the color red. And so he has moved in down here. Um, he did know his brother, like him and his brother lived here together a little while before Dirk moved down to go to university, but not much really happened. He has met his grandmother, Bella, which was kind of interesting, um, at his birthday party when he was aging up to a child, um, Bella and both Dina were invited and, um, they got into a fight over Mortimer. So it was interesting how that worked. Um, then they have twins uh talking about cassandra and darren have twins named randy and yuma they are toddlers now and um they live upstairs of course they're right here on the floor so yuma and randy here and they're still very young they just aged up to child to children so they're still very young and they'll have some time or the age of two toddlers, and they'll have some time before they become children. And then they did adopt a little doggy named um, Otis. He is actually a adult dog when they even adopted him. And he is um, very, very cute. He's very... Um, He's kind of older in sense, but he's very cute and they actually really like him. They did have a cat named Sake, which moved out with Dirk because it's Dirk's cat. And then they ended up getting a dog because they were interested. Um, so these guys, uh, Cassandra has pretty much just forgotten about Don Lothario. I mean, she's still his friend. They're still best friends. Um, they rekindled like the friendship side, but they've never went back to like flirting or anything. And um, she's a lot of bulls of Pascal. Holy moly. Um, she, just, yeah. So so she's kind of like just very happy with Darren and the life that they've built together here. And they don't really like look back on the past because it doesn't really matter to them what's going on, you know, from their past because they're happy in their future with each other and their kids. So, yeah. I'm really sorry about any of the background noises. Um, the kids are waking up from their naps now, so I do have to kind of go. If you guys enjoyed seeing this video, though, I can definitely dive into some of the other families, some of the other neighborhoods. Let me know what you guys are interested, and I can show you guys some more. Darlene is still back there, if you're wondering. I haven't decided if I want to move her to the graveyard yet or not. I kind of let the goths keep their tombstones as well, so I don't know. It's interesting. But anyways, yeah, I want to also show you the old oldies and the burbs at some point so I could show you guys those and um, I would love to show you all of my households if every one of you were interested in seeing it but not every household has a um, story so it's just really hard to kind of show that to you guys so yeah so if you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to comment like and subscribe to my channel in the description below is all of my social media links so definitely check those out please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and also don't forget to check out my twitch channel if you're interested in seeing the live streams of this on my discord is all the photos if you're interested and i will talk to you guys in my very next one thanks so much for watching